do you want to do clutches like this? Well, in this video, I will be explaining how to do clutches just like this and sharing my tips and tricks on how you can become a better clutcher and more consistent at block clutching. Before I get into how to block clutch, the first thing you need is a drag clicking mouse and also tape that assists you in drag clicking. Some of my recommended mice to get for drag clicking is the bloody A70, bloody A60. Some other alternatives include the Model O, the Red Dragon, or just any Rokat mouse. But I know some of you do not want to spend your money on a gaming mouse. That's why I'm here to introduce our sponsor for the video, Salad. Salad is a free PC app that earns you money while you do absolutely nothing. So not only can you monetize while you poop, you can also get free money while sleeping. With your earnings in Salad, you can get lots of different rewards, including Discord Nitro, Visa prepaid cards, Amazon gift cards, and even gaming mice to drag click. Now, I know some people might not trust Salad because it sounds too good to be true. Well, that might be the case, but they have over a thousand positive reviews on Trustpilot. Now, with that being said, I highly recommend you guys to download Salad from the link in the description. If you do, don't forget to use code iMouse so you get two times the earning speed. The bed was clutch. This is one of the most commonly seen extensions and requires another player to hit you once or twice with a fist or tool. By saying this, I don't mean that the opponent has to hit you with a fist, they just have to hit you with something that is not enchanted with knockback. This includes items like a sword in Bed Wars or an axe in Sky Wars. Usually, the times and places you need to perform this skill is when you are mining out of bed and the opponent hits you before you break the bed. There are several ways that you could be hit and in this video I will be talking about the three most common ways. The first way is when your opponent sprints up and hits you twice. This is the most common way that you might get hit in Bed Wars and it allows up to 13 block extensions. For Bed Wars clutches, there are two types of aim, the high aim and the low aim. I will be talking through both types of aims in this video. The difference between high aim and low aim is that when you use high aim, you clutch a block up than if you were to use low aim. In my opinion, the high aim is easier to clutch with, but it requires the other player to hit you with perfect knockback. I'll first go through how to clutch with the high aim. For the high aim, it's all about aiming up during the middle of the extension so that you can clutch on a block higher. To clutch, you will need to start a drag just before your opponent hits you. Aim at roughly 55 Y level, and a bit lower and higher will still work. Start a drag, then aim upwards during the middle of the extension at around 45 degrees. Keep dragging until you land the extension. Aim downwards near the end of the extension at around 80 degrees. You could also butterfly or jitter click, but that would require you to hold W more during the clutch. If you want to go further, it is important that you hold spacebar in the air to ensure that you jump after you land. If you don't jump, you could slide off the clutch. Jumping also gives you an extra few blocks if you don't hold W while you land. You could also hold S for more distance. Now, I'll explain how to clutch using the low aim. You want to do the same thing that you did for high aim, except you don't aim up during the middle of the extension. You want to keep your crosshair consistent and only aim down at the end of the clutch. The low aim will only work if the opponent has a short delay between each of the hits. This means that every time that you get hit for one of these extensions, you must predict what type of knockback the opponent will do to you and perform the corresponding aims. In my opinion, I would go for the high aim because most likely the opponent will hit you without a delay, but it's your opinion on which type of aim you go for. The second type of clutch is when the opponent sprints up to hit you and then W taps on the second hit. This allows up to 20 block extensions and is one of the hardest ways to clutch in Bed Wars. Like the previous clutch, there are two types of aims that you can perform to secure a safe landing for this clutch. The aim is really similar to the last clutch, and performing the clutch with high aim should look something like this. You could also aim up at the very start of the extension, then slowly start aiming down after you get hit for the second time. Although the strategy of aiming high at the start works, it might cause the opponent to not be able to hit you as you place blocks in front of you and your opponent, blocking them from being able to hit you for a second time. Now, we're going to move on to the low aim. When you clutch with low aim, you should look something like this. The aim is the same as the one before, where you aim at around 60 degrees and drag click. 
Hold your drag until you land the extension and slowly aim down when you get close to landing. The final type of clutch that I'll be talking about is when the opponent sprints up and hits you once. I don't suggest going for this type of aim because it normally doesn't happen a lot and in my opinion it's not as impressive as double hit clutches. But I know some people out there would want to start out by trying this because it's probably the easiest alternative out of all three clutches. And that's why I decided to include this type of bedwars clutch in the tutorial. There's really only one type of aim to do, and here's what it looks like. To do the clutch, aim around 60 degrees and slowly aim down throughout the clutch. Once you land, you should be looking at around 80 degrees. Now, although I explain how to do these clutches, if you actually want to pull them off, you must practice and get really consistent at doing them. One way to practice is by going onto other servers. This includes servers like Hypixel, Bedwars Practice, and many more. I recommend hopping into a Bedwars or a bridge game with a friend. This way they can hit you off and you can practice block clutching. Now that you're in game, you can build a platform to stand on while you wait for your friend to hit you off. Make sure you tell them which type of knockback you want as it will be easier for you to clutch. Keep practicing until you land a few extensions. After you feel confident with clutching, you can try pulling it off in a real game. 